you can identify fractions using partition shapes and models. Let's review. Fractions are used to show parts of a whole. Remember, fractions always relate to a whole. If the whole changes, so does the fraction. A fraction has two parts, the numerator and denominator. Let's take a look at 2 over 3. The denominator names how many equal parts are in the whole. Here, the whole is a rectangle. The rectangle is cut into three parts that are equal in size. There are three equal parts, so we say that each part of the whole is cut into thirds. The numerator is on top and names how many equal parts you are using. There are two parts being used, so the fraction of the whole that is shaded is two-thirds. Sometimes there might be more than one whole. For example, here we have three circles. Each circle is one whole. How can we express the shaded amount as a fraction? Let's look at the parts of a fraction. The denominator names how many equal parts are in the whole. Take a look at the whole. One circle is one whole. And there are one, two, three parts in the circle. So the denominator must be three. The numerator is on top. It names how many equal parts you are using. In this case, the shaded part is what we're looking at. Let's count the number of thirds that are shaded. One third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, and seven thirds. The fraction for the shaded amount is seven thirds. The seven shaded parts is the numerator and the three parts in each whole is the denominator. The fraction that represents the shaded part in this model is 7 thirds. Let's try one more example so you can practice naming fractions when there is more than one hole shown. Look at these two rectangles. Take a look at each hole. One rectangle is one hole, and there are four parts in each rectangle or hole. So the denominator must be four. The numerator names how many equal parts you're using, so here we're looking at the shaded parts. Let's count the number of fourths that are shaded. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, and six fourths. The fraction for the shaded amount is six fourths. The six shaded parts represent the numerator and the four parts in each whole represent the denominator. In this lesson, you learned about identifying fractions using partition shapes and models. Thanks for watching.